I'm playing at uh, Novato. You ever been there? And then I'm in a place called Sonoma. You ever heard of it? And then I go back home to Nashville on Monday. I know where you play Tuesday. Tuesday where? Amy's. Yeah. Who's Amy? <laughs> <laughs> She's my mom's caregiver. Oh, cool. Nice to see you. Do you know Molly Tuttle? I do. I, I uh, had sent my kids to Pennsylvania. So I know Molly really well. Well, one time Molly came over to my house in Nashville and we were writing songs and then I said, hey, I got this song. She was leaving. I go, I got a song that I wrote 20 years ago with Jewel, but I only wrote a verse and a chorus and I sang it to Molly. And Molly goes, oh man, I really like that. Can I finish it? So I said, yeah, because people were wanting the song to be finished. And so then she finished the song and then she said, hey, I think I'm going to record this song on my new record. And I'm going to have um, Sierra Hall play on it and I'll have Jason Isbell sing a harmony. And so I said, okay, cool. And then she said, but did Jewel hear it? Because Jewel had to sign off on it too because it's a trio, right? rather than just a co-write. And so I said to Molly, I sent it to her, but I haven't heard back from her yet, and I'm waiting to hear back from her. And then Molly called me the next day, and she said, I'm going in the studio, did you hear back from Jewel? But I hadn't heard back from Jewel, so I lied to Molly Tuttle, and I go, and when I lied, my voice got her, and I go, yeah, it's cool. She said, it's cool. And in my mind, I knew I was lying, and my eye was twitching. So, Molly Tuttle goes into the studio and gets Jason Isbell and Sierra Hall. They're spending like $100,000 a day. It's like the greatest studio in the world. It's at like the top of the new World Trade Center that they built in New York. There's like a studio at the very top. And she was recording up there. So it's $100,000 a day. Jason Isbell flies in on a private jet. They go, you sure it's cool? And I go, yeah. So they go up there and there's a lot of money on this. So they finish recording the song and so I still hadn't heard back from Jewel and I was freaking out. I was like, Jewel probably doesn't like, like it. That's the only reason I haven't heard back from her. She doesn't want to tell me. So then I was losing sleep over. I go, Molly's going to kill me. Jewel's going to be mad at me. And I just thought, well, I'll just go to India and hide. Because <laughs> I figured nobody would find me if I went to Mumbai. Like I could get lost. And I just read this book called Shantaram and it enticed me to go there. So I was like, I think I'm gonna go to India and I'll hide from Molly Tuttle and Jewel rather than own up to what I've done because you can always run away from your problems. Don't ever let people tell you you can't. You can. So <laughs> I like how you agreed with that. Your son was like, yes, you can. See, I'm your teacher. <laughs> so anyways, finally I hear back from Jewel and she goes, hey, sorry to delay on writing this. That song is amazing. That girl Molly is awesome. I love it. Let's just make it a, a trio, 33, 33, 33 percent. What does that come up to you, 99? At least one extra percent for you. <laughs> just because you're a part of this show now. You've been seen there, I've been wondering who to donate it to. And that song sold 30 million records. 1% of 30 million, do the math. I owe you a lot of money, and so does Molly. Get it from Molly. Get it from her parents. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, Molly ends up doing the song, and I never told her that I lied to her. And then I was at Telluride Bluegrass Festival playing, and then Jewel came down to sing with me, and then I was like, oh, I can introduce Molly to Jewel. And so I had Jewel come out on stage, and then I called Molly out on stage and Sierra Hole. And we're all out there on stage at Telluride in front of all these people, and that was where I confessed my sins. Because I figured it's better to confess what you've done in front of a lot of people. That way, if they're mad at you, they can't really get mad at you because too many people are out in front. And Rolling Stone will cover it, and you'll look bad. But then again, you may gain more followers. So I confessed to it, and they both laughed and loved it, and so it was cool. So now I'm going to do the song. And I would like to do a disclaimer because Molly sings it better than I do, but I'm going to do it anyways. So here goes. And this is originally written, this verse was originally written 25 years ago at Wind and Sea Beach in La Jolla. One morning, it goes like this. 
Call my cable man, cause my stream is blurry. Seems the more I rush, all I do is worry. I'm too much like my mom, all she does is hurry. What's a boy to do today? Gonna let the ocean fly underneath my door and Carry me and my couch away If you were here You'd be my lifeboat Save me But you're a million miles away You're a million miles away Do-do-do 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 Today, they all want the store. How can I explain? Went down in a blaze of glory. If I could see your face, this time I'd say I'm sorry. But I know it's much too late. Let the ocean flood underneath my door and carry me in my catch away if you were here you'd be my life won't save me but you're a million miles away you're a million miles away du, du, du. My friend uh, Lizzie